Ladies and gentlemen, I have returned. We have a brand new set to open courtesy of the Pokemon Company. Battle Styles is officially out, and I'm excited to hop into this. This arrived actually earlier by Tiny watching this. It's been a couple days or so, something like that. But I'm somewhat excited to dive into the set. There's a couple cards I want to pull, especially the Tarantar. If the Tarantar is in one, one of these two boxes, I'm going to be hyped. But I think, what, I think, what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually open this last. Let's hop into the booster box and just get right into all the packs. Am I gonna open the Elite Trainer? I might open the Elite Trainer box, but it all depends on what we pull. If I get the Tyranitron, I'm basically gonna be done. And these guys know me, I like to keep some products sealed. Even the none, the, the less desired ones. I know there's no Charizard in the set, which on Mac is gonna make people be all like, oh, why do I wanna open this? For me, I'm gonna open at least everything once. And uh, there's some cards I still wanna pursue in each set. And of course, the one for me is gonna be the Tyranitar. So let's see if we can pull that today. There's two variations, I believe, of the Tyranitar. They got the one where he's like asleep with a, food, with a bunch of food around him. It's dope. I love the art in that. So, luck. Be on my side. Let's hop into it. We'll just get right into it one at a time. First pack. First pack magic. You know what? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling some first pack magic in this one. No card trick, but I am going to show you the... Um, ooh, wait a minute. I have not seen any of these cards yet. I hate to be that YouTuber. It's like, let me look at all the art. But I have not seen any of these art yet. So to me, this is brand new. Bronzong is a hollow, is our first rare. And then here are the uncommons. Even that gold bat is nice. Wait, wait a minute. There's a lot of nice cards in the set. There is the code card right there. Okay, let me actually separate the hollows from everything so I have a better maintenance going on with these at the end of the day. We'll drop this right there because that's used. All right, let's get into the next pack. Here we go. Uh, if you are actually opening battle styles for collective purposes, let me know what you're looking for. I feel like a lot of people are going to play with this set. It's funny, when it comes out of Pokemon, usually what people are looking for is going to be the key Pokemon. Ooh, so there's like Rapid Strike. So there's Rapid Strike and the, I forgot what the other one was. Um, but a single strike, that's what it is. Uh, what a lot of people are looking for, Victini, we got our first uh, V card. What a lot of people are looking for with these cards is um, the collectibles. You know, is there a new Charizard in the set? Are there any fan favorites like the Pikachus, the, the Lugias of the world? The starters, the original starters, and for me, I, I get that. Um, that's what makes me open cards usually because I don't play the game. I used to play here and there. Um, I kind of wish there was more of a console version of the game. I know there's the TCGO, which you can play online, and you can actually play on the iPad as well. But I kind of wish they had like on the Switch or something. I would absolutely play that. I know it's kind of weird because it's like the game is very accessible. You can also use these codes. I can literally buy cards use the codes for myself so i can you know build decks but i just never do it because i'd rather it be like on a switch or something i will play it so much more honestly i'll, I'll be real with you i just don't want to get addicted that's what it is Ooh, that galarian slow bros dope too i like that it's a lot of dope art in the set and then there is the uncommons and then there is a code card for one of y'all let's put this over here and this over here but yeah let me know your thoughts down below i you know what it is is i just don't feel like booting up an ipad I feel like if the TCGO was available on the, on the iPhone, which I don't know why it's not, it must be probably like an issue with how big uh, the screens are. I probably would play it so much more, but I, I just I, I don't really I don't know do it because I played the main reason why I like doing it is because it's so accessible. Tyranitar? Nope, it's the Bolton. Uh, put you over here. There is the Uncommons, Heat More, Tower Darkness, and Karina's Focus. There you go. But the TCG game is a lot of fun. Like I said, I have played it before. I've played it a couple times in the past. I played for a solid, I want to say, couple years, uh, casually, hardcore casually, and then um, I kind of slowed down, and then I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh. When it comes down to the two, I feel like I've always been a bigger fan of playing Yu-Gi-Oh, um, but I still enjoy the TCGO and Pokemon as well. I just wish it was more accessible and stuff like, you know, like the Switch. Scatterbug, Hone Edge, Gligar, reverses, I send a Scorching behind it. Oh, Victini VMAX, let's go. I'll take that. It's a W. I had like I got both the Victini and the VMAX. That's dope. Woo! That's a W. That is a W. Now I don't know if this means that this is the big hit of this box. If you guys remember in the past, I mentioned like when it comes down to booster boxes, once you kind of get the big hit in the box, that that's it. I don't know how the pull rates changed in Sword and Shield, because I think this is this might be my first booster box I'm opening in the set. You know, so far I've done a lot of Champions Path, which was like a side set, which never had like a booster box in the series. Um, but I know usually you get like one full art or like a uh, like a hyper rare, like a rainbow rare in a set or like a full art or something like that. So I don't know if that Victini V Max counts in that situation. I hope not, because like I said, we want to get that Tyranitar. That's gonna be the big goal. Let's get into the next one. Ooh, we got a long way to go. This might be a slightly longer video, but hey, it's fine. I have really been uploading this channel in the last couple of weeks, so I long video will make up for it. I think. I don't know. 
But stay tuned, like I said, there's a lot of stuff to open. You know, I've been very, very busy in the last couple of days. Really, the last couple of weeks. And there hasn't really been much that interests me in opening. But I'm hyped about... Hey, Corbinite! I'm hyped to uh, hunt for that Lugia in... Whatchamacallit? Whoops. In the uh, Lost Thunder set. That Lugia actually exploded in value. Like, I actually tried to buy one back in December. And I remember thinking, like, nah, I'm not going to get one. It's, you know, it's just it's a modern-day car. People don't really care moder about modern-day like that. But then it boomed. I feel like modern-day cards, they explode. And then they go down real fast. And then sometimes they don't go down. Like, I try to buy... I try to buy uh, the Lugia from... From, uh, whatchamacallit? From uh, the uh, Shining Legends set. And that actually exploded. I remember a couple... Like, a year ago, it was like a $200 card. And next thing I know, it's like a 1000 plus. And it took me a couple, like, months to actually find it at a decent price. Because everybody, like, sees one card sell and it automatically causes everything else to explode. Especially once that Lugia sold for, for $129,000 last year. Oh my god, I still can't believe that. And now for, for record, for purposes, a second one did sell for $76,000 a couple months ago. So those are the only known sales to date. Again, when it comes down to uh, sales, you know, people have their set prices they would pay. So, you know, one person was willing to go as far as 130 grand, and then the next person was like, you know what, maybe my max is 76,000. Before we know, maybe if they had a competitor, that card could easily pass 100 grand. That now means is is the next card, the, ne the next Neo Genesis Luga could possibly sell for like 50 grand. Who knows? I mean, we did see one sell for 50 grand last year in like October before like the big uh, sales on eBay. Yeah! Oh, we got the Urshifu uh, V Max. Let's go! Yo, this is a beautiful car. Let's yo! Ooh, man, let's get a sleeve for that. What's the pull rate for that? Did I just win a lottery? Where's my sleeves? You know, going into this, I didn't think that the Urshifu was going to be pulled because that's like the, the big card to get is two different Urshifus in a set. Um, but, hey, you know what? That's going to be a new strategy. Whenever I go into new sets, I'm going to just expect myself not to pull stuff because that's how I got the Charizard, actually. All right, let's get into it. Man, this might be a really long video. I might just split this into two parts. Nah, I'm not going to split it into two parts. We'll just go a little bit faster. How about that? That way you get like a maybe like a 20 minute video and we go through the entire box. Hey, Necrozma V, back to back hits. I, I like that. Got some bangers. There's a code card from one of y'all. There you go. Again, as always, if you pull something off of that, let me know how well your pulls went down below. Now, here's a big question that I have on my mind. What's going to be the big set for this year? You know, I, a lot of people keep speculating that 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 uh, second gen is going to make a comeback. And as you guys can see in the background, Silver, Stadium 2, and I also got uh, Soul Silver to the left, if you can kind of see it. Um, I'm a big fan of, of, of second gen. Is it possible that second gen is going to have like an evolution style uh, release at the end of the year? And honestly, I think no, but I want to be wrong with that. I absolutely would love to be wrong with that because I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> I've been doing pretty good on spending money on Pokemon. But if they ever announce a, a uh, like a like a Gen 2 re-release type of thing or like something around Gen 2, I'm going to go broke. I'm going to spend so much money on those sets. And the way I'm saying this because I kind of want the Pokemon coming to, you know, because they might be watching this because they sent me this box. Take notes. Wink, wink. <clears throat> I'm just saying, Pokemon Company, if y'all happen to do some second-gen stuff, I might go crazy for it. And a little birdie told me that uh, it's not just me. There's a lot of people that love second-gen that might also go just as crazy. I mean, look, y'all have the data. Y'all know people love second-gen, so just, just, do, just do the thing. Second and third-gen, I feel like, are the fan favorites. In fact, comment section below, what is your favorite gen? And give me your best memory. How about that? Your favorite gen and your best memory down below. And the Pokemon Company can see it for themselves. I guarantee you, most of those are going to say second and third gen. Watch me be wrong. And there's going to be not a single person that's going to be say second gen in the comments. Now I'm going to look stupid. <laughs> hey, man, it's fine. They still have the data. They know that people love their second gen. Let's see what we got. Reverse. And then Tapu Bulu. I think we got, like, the big hits of this box already. Getting the Shifu and getting the... um. The Victini VMAX were definitely W's, I'd say. Let's get into the next one. I think I got decent. I got the Corviknight and the Necrozma cool as well. I got some decent hits out of it. And also the regular Victini. So how many more hits do we have left in the box? I want to say we, we, we got to be coming up soon. I mean, this is the halfway mark right here. We got to be coming up soon on, like, just a dead end, right? Ah, Conquador. Okay, there's a code card right there. And this can go over here, and this can go over here. My stack maintenance is starting to fall apart, so let me kind of like do some adjustments over here. There you go, much better. 
two packs left on the stack and then we're going into the second half of the box we're gonna pull that tyranitar today first box I, I i feel in my heart today is a lucky day and how lucky are we talking about i'll tell you how lucky this lucky right there would have been where that tyranitar would have been but i guess it's not which is fine it's all right can't win them all you know i i pulled charizard recently so like my luck i feel like it's still kind of on the cooldown period let's get into this next one oh don't ruin this ah it's stuck there you go okay let's see what we got Mankey, sizzlepeed baltoy timber corefish reverse gold bat oh nice and nothing just a salazzle not hollow i haven't pulled that many hollows unless i'm not paying attention I'm actually end up going through all these uh, bulk here after I'm done with the video. I'm realize I skipped out on a lot of hollows because I'm just kind of mostly paying attention for <laughs> I breathe wrong, paying attention for the full arts and stuff like that. All right, let's get into the next one. Let's see what we got. This is the part where I'd say I wish they released like a Charizard or Lugia in this set, but they've been doing that the last couple sets for the hollows, so I can't even like at that point complain or one more. But I'll be real with you, I'm never gonna get tired. If they release another set, I think they announced the most uh, newest set recently. If there is another Lugia or Charizard in that set, I'm going to be happy. I feel like Lugia has, got, has not gotten enough love. Again, he never, released a, he never received a shiny in both Hidden Fates and Shiny Fates. And I feel like that's a crime. It's an absolute... It's a crime against humanity. Come on. Houndor, Lickitung, Baltoy, and a Clay Doll. Okay, we're going to evolve into a Clay Doll today. Code card right there. There you go. Okay, let me get my stack maintenance going over here so we have uh, more easy, more, I guess a better ease of cleaning up when I'm done recording these. Now, I, I mentioned this before. Whenever I record Pokemon openings in bulk, which I might record like four videos right now, it's just packs and wrappers all around me. And then it's like, <laughs> my first thought is like, do I clean up first or do I edit? The answer is always is you edit first. And then you look down, you're just like, I'm tired of editing. And then it's like, you realize you also still have to clean up. Story of my life. I know, first world problem. But hey, it's part of being a collector, so um, yeah, just gotta deal with it. All right, let's get into the next pack. There we go. This actually is doing pretty decent for a time. You just put me on in the background while you're doing homework or something. You know, it's nice and chill. Okay. Got Bronzor in the front, Cacnea, Spoink, Roly Coley, Frillish, Reverse, or C. Ah, Agent Slash. I was gonna say, we're getting to the point where we pulled a lot of bangers. So that means we're gonna get to the point where we're gonna be pulling a lot of like dud packs until we get like the next big hit. But hey, all it takes is one. In fact, we'll be opening. Uh, Ushifu, I see a Tyranitar pack next. I feel like this Tyranitar pack is going to be a banger, so I'm gonna put you in the back over there. Mianfu, Yamper, Glamiao, Corfish, uh, Scatterbug Reverse is a Pig Knight and nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Cold card right there, there you go. And let's get into the next pack. You know what? Let's open you first. Because I feel like this is going to be heat. Tyranitar pull out of the Tyranitar pack. I'm ready for it. Y'all want to see witchcraft, YouTube? Y'all want to see absolute witchcraft? I'll show you. Ready for this? Y'all not ready for this. Reverse. And. I mean, it's kind of funny because my name's Rhyme Style and I pulled the Mr. Rhyme. <laughs> it's kind of witchcraft if you ask me. But not the witchcraft I was hoping for. All right, let's get into the next one. We got an Empoleon art. Let's see what we got out of this. Peel right into this bad boy. And let's see what kind of goodies we got. Here we go. Watch this actually be the, the, the banger pack. It was like one pack away. Bellsprout, Luxio. Ho oh, ho! Empoleon, full art, rapid strike out of the Empoleon pack. I'd say it's a W. You know what? You can hang out in the back next to your friend. That's fire. That's fire. We, we, we take that. I know a lot of Empoleon fans are going to be like, let me get that rhyme. <laughs> All right, let's get into the next one we got. Um, I think, I want to say we still got a couple more hits left in the box. Again, I'm not really sure what the breakdown is of Hollows to Full Arts to even the Seeker Rare per box. Like, did I already hit that? Was there a Sheaf? No, probably not. Found a Seeker Rare. There it is, right there. Single Strike Energy. Ooh, and it looks beautiful. Really, really bad centering. But it looks beautiful. You know what? You can hang out in the back next to uh, the squad. Even though it's Rapid Strike, Rapid Strike, not Single Strike. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that Single Strike and Rapid Strike is the new meta. If someone wants to explain, explain to me in the comment section below how that works, feel free to do so. Because now I'm kind of curious. Again, I like it when TCGs do that where they switch it up on you. Where they do new things. Um, and I assume Rapid Strike and Single Strike just means 
probably it's a big meta changer with how the game is played. So that's dope to me. So if you want to explain something, you go for it down below. Uh, Glamia, Phalanx, and uh, Drampa. Looks like a grandpa. It's a grandpa dragon. Code card. Let's see what else we got. I think that's probably it. I want to say with all the hits I have around me, that's probably the last hit. Which means the, the, the second half of the box might be kind of slow. Only because I feel like we pulled everything else. And these, are, these might just all be like green code cards in the back. It's all random. I mean, for all you know, you can open that one box where all the hits are in the front, and then the rest of the box is just all green code cards, so you know it's going to be not hollows. Usually, it's like 12 hits per box, but I don't know if that changed uh, with the Sword and Shield set or just modern stuff in general. I punched the camera because that's what I like to do. All right, let's see what we got. A Mianfu, a Mr. Mime, Bell Sprout Reverse, Licky Tongue, and nothing. Just a Primeape. There is a code card. I know it's going to be that one person that's going to be like, show us the uncommons. Uh, look, I feel like at this point you might have seen a lot of these. So, for me specifically, I know when it comes down to watching content, I like to see what the big hits are in a pack. That's why I usually don't really like to do the, co the card trick and get right into business. I mean, we want to open a pack and we want to see pulls like this. Kingdra. Again, if that was a Tyranitar, that would have been fire. Code card. There you go. Okay, let's see what we got. We have, I want to say like six packs left. One, two, three, four. Four, five. Well, look at that. Actually, was that was that six? That's actually six. We count them today. Who said Dragon Ball fans can't read? Let's get into this next pack. Here we go. Let's get one more big hit. One more big hit. Remoraid, Spiro, Pachirisu, Tower Waters, and a Clay Doll. Maybe we should open this uh battle styles um ETB as well. Because I feel like that's where the uh, Tyranitar is going to be. I'm probably not going to hunt for a Tyrant. I Maybe mean, I'll just, I might honestly just buy it. Cuts me a lot easier. And with how slow PSA has been, I might just buy it as a PSA 10, honestly. So if anyone gets one and gets it graded, put it on eBay. I'll find it. But then again, don't do it yet. Because for all I know, this video is going to contain that magical pull here in a second. I hope so. Yeah, I'll probably open the, the ETB as well. It's only eight packs. I mean, we're only like 18 minutes into this video. So this might be like a 22-ish long minute video. So it should be that bad. Houndor, Lickitung, Horsey, Mankey, Reverse, Seedra, and Jellicent. Okay. Not what I was hoping to see, but it is what it is. Well, don't put that in that stack. That goes in that stack. There you go. All right. I'm going to open this pack last. Why? Because I the energy off that pack is telling me it's going to be fire. It's going to be fire. So let's see what we got. See, we got one of my favorite uh, second gen boys in that pack. Tyranitar, of course. Ready for this? Oh, there's the Tyranitar. <laughs> there is a Tyranitar, but the wrong one. You know what? For good luck, you can hang out over here. I think that might have been the last hit. That might be the last hit of the box. I haven't been keeping count or track, but something tells me that that is the last hit. Do we want to spoil this for ourselves? Let's do it. Ah, we got a Bronzong, okay. Yeah, I think that might have been the last hit. Unless, do we want to spoil this one for ourselves too? Nah, I think we'll just go through this and then we'll hop into the ETB. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna be quiet for this one. Did we win? Is this it? Ah, it's Hound Doom. <laughs> But it was a white code card. There you go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open the uh, the ETB as well, because I have a good feeling about this. The Pokemon Company they used their magical powers and they picked this box specifically because they knew fate was going to send me this microphone get punched. Um, fate was gonna send me that Tyranitar with them sleeping on the ground to me. So we're gonna go ahead and pop into this right now. Open eight more packs and yeah. And as always, you guys know what you get inside these ETBs. You get basically you're ready to play the game if you're. Looking to start. May the luck ever be in your favor if you get ETBs. I like ETBs that offer also the promo cards. Those are always nice. But in this situation, uh, you don't get any. But you do get some uh, pretty dope sleeves. I like these actually a lot. And I believe there's two different styles for the ETB as well. But I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me down below. Alright, last eight packs. I think for the sake of uh, the video, let's just kind of rush through this. I got sneeze. <coughs> Here we go. 
Oh, we won't know. All right. I guess I'll let fate decide. I will let fate decide this one. Crobat. Ah, set the scorch. Nothing out of that one. There's a code card. I was going to flip it every single time. Just to kind of like, you know, save a little bit of time so the video's not too crazy long. But hey, man, if fate's telling me that the code card's facing the other way, well, then so be it. So these packs seem to be like a different print. Uh, uh, the actual wrappers are a lot easier to open. Okay, let's see what we got out of this one. So land it, Murkrow, reverse. Oh, wait, no, that was the rare, right? Ah, the reverse was the Murkrow. Ah, no, wait, the Bolton was the reverse. Yeah, it was. Just kidding. This was the reverse, which is actually a rare, I believe, right? Yeah, it's a rare. Okay. Code card right there. Boom. Oh, my tower of cards is starting to fall apart. Okay, let's get into the next pack. I'm gonna open this one last. I think that's gonna be the fire pack. I would like to pick out one pack. You guys know me. Do we wanna cheat this one? Let's cheat this one. Ah, it's a code card, a green code card, which means nothing out of that but a Mankey. And then there's the rare right there. Um, the next one, it's gonna be that Tarantar pack. I just, I just know it. I just know it. Ooh, there's a code card. Let's see what we got out of this. Maybe this is going to be the chosen pack. With the pretty Tyranitar art. You can see it first. Did we win? Victini! <laughs> ah, we doubling up. We are doubling up. I mean, it's a good pull. It's definitely a good pull. I'm not complaining there. Let's get into the next one. I'm going to say that box is still pretty good. Get the Oshifu VMAX and then the Ampolion full art and the Victini VMAX is definitely fire. Cheat. Ah, it's a green code card. Which, there you go. And then we got the Bisharp right there as the big hit. And of course, the Phalanx is the regular rare. Last three packs. The reason why I bumped into my camera that time is because I was trying to catch this uh, stack of cards that fell next to me just now. And I failed. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. This is going to be a fire pack. At least I hope. Okay. Horsey. Murkrow. Brownzor, Bellsprout, Reverse. You can see it again first. Did we win? Oh, we got the other Shifu. Let's go. Yo, we got both of them? I'll take that. I'll take that. That's definitely a W. That is definitely a W. If I uh, recall correctly, technically we, we did pull the Tyranitar. I assume the Tyranitars are both basically alternate arts. Is that what it is? So it's the same card, just uh, it looks different. I think, I might be wrong. I might be wrong on that. You know what, speaking of Tyranitar, let's open the Tyranitar pack that's been chilling in the back over here. And let's see. You know what, we're not even gonna cheat. We're just gonna go right through the cards. Let's see if my intuition was right. And this was a good pack. Ah, it was a green code card. Dang it. Like I said, can win them all. All right, last pack. Last pack. Is Empoleon about to have our back? Is Empoleon about to finish strong for us? I mean, I can't complain. This is a good box. Let's see what happens. Esper, Frillish, Roly Coley, Spoink, Reverse. <laughs> it was a rare. A Hollow Ente. This actually looks dope. I'm not going to lie. This looks really, really dope. But unfortunately, no Tyranitar today. There you go. Hey, man, I still think this was fun. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad I got a chance to open this. Again, much love to the Pokemon company. Uh, y'all the best. Again, if y'all just want to do Gen 2 stuff, I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know your thoughts and battle styles, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.